Hi. In this video, I am going to show you how I knit a sweater with raglan increases from the top and down. And now I will show you how I shape the neck opening to make the neck a little bit lower in the front than it is in the back and how I at the same time make the raglan increases. I have started by knitting the neck. Uh, I will uh, place a link at the end of this video to how I cast on to get an elastic edge like this. Uh, I have done um, knit one purl one ribbing here and after finishing the rib I have I have done one round in stockinette where I have changed to bigger needles and I have also done a few increases evenly distributed around. Uh, you will have to look in the pattern you are following to find needle sizes, where and when to change needles and if you are going to do increases as I have done. Because this will vary from pattern to, to pattern. Um, I have also placed a few markers uh, two markers here and two markers here and those four they are there to separate the sleeve stitches which are here in between from the stitches on the back piece and the front piece and this yellow marker here I have just I've just placed uh, here to uh, remind myself that this is the front piece so it doesn't have to be any uh, anywhere particular other than somewhere on the front piece. And what I'm going to do now is to shape uh, the neck in the front and at the same time begin to do raglan increases. The neck I will shape by doing short rows mainly over the sleeve stitches and the back piece back and forward like this to make the sweater higher in the back and that will give the front here a bit rounder shape and it appears lower and uh, at the same time as I do this, I will do raglan uh, increases and um, I will show you the whole process and how to how to um, what uh, what order to do things in. Uh, so now I am now uh, here at the beginning of my round and first thing I'm going to do is to knit until I have done four stitches of the front piece and how many stitches you should do uh, should be stated in the pattern you are following but um, the the way of doing things will in principle be the same regardless of stitch numbers. So I begin by knitting the sleeve stitches and here I am the last sleeve stitch and the first stitch on the front piece. 
separated here by the marker. And I was going to knit four stitches of the front piece. So I'll do that. One, two, three, four. And now it is time to turn. Uh, there are many ways to knit short rows. I will show you how I do. Uh, feel free to use uh, another method if you like it better. You can use uh, you can use any any short row method you like. But what I do is that I begin by slipping one stitch. I take my yarn and I move it between the needles and towards me. Then I slip the stitch back onto the left needle. Then I turn my work to the wrong side. I move my needle um, behind my yarn. And I pick up the first stitch on my left needle and I slip it off and I go back behind the yarn. And uh, now I am ready to continue here on the wrong side and I will purl my way back over the sleeve stitches and over the back piece and when I arrive here uh, at the end of the other sleeve I will get back to you on how I turn from the wrong side. Now I have purled my way back over the sleeve stitches, the back piece stitches and these sleeve stitches and I am now at the end of the sleeve and I'll just continue to purl the last two sleeve stitches and now I'm on my way on to the front piece. Here you can see my yellow marker and the same uh, as in the other side I purl four stitches onto the front piece like this and then I slip the next stitch uh, I bring the needle behind my working yarn, slip the stitch, I bring the yarn through by, in between the needles and away from me so that my yarn ends up on the right side here. I slip the stitch back onto left needle. Then I turn and now you can see the yarn wraps around the stitch and I bring the yarn back between the needles and I continue to knit my way back. But now when I'm on the right side I will also do Raglan increases. I will do the increases in every second round and always from the right side. And I will have two middle stitches and then I will take the one on each side of my marker. And when I increase on the right side of my middle stitches here I pick up the yarn that goes across 
between the stitch I just knitted and the next one. I pick up this here and on the right side of my middle stitches I begin on my near side and I place the yarn onto my left needle beginning on my side here moving away from me like this and next I just pick up this stitch and I knit it but this can be because of how it sits on the needle this yarn can be difficult to pick up so what I do is that I I pull it towards me I secure it with my finger like this so you can see it's quite loose and then I bring my needle through and yeah, not even now I managed to get all the yarn so I'll do it again secure it and stick my needle through and I'll just knit normally so that's the first increase I knit the two middle stitches and when I increase on the left side of my middle stitches I pick up the yarn between the stitch I have just knitted and the next pick it up the same way but now I place it on my needle the opposite direction I begin on the far side and I go towards me like this and then I bring my right needle through the opposite way uh, as the other needle make them switch places like this and pick up the yarn and knit and now I continue to knit the sleeve stitches until I have one stitch left before the marker like this because the last stitch before the marker and the first stitch after are my middle stitches A right increase again pick up the yarn over the needle moving away from me I loosen the stitch stick my needle through and knit knit the two middle stitches pick up the yarn again place it on the needle beginning on my near side moving away from no that was what I just did I begin away from me moving towards me stick my needle through the opposite way make the two needles switch places and knit so that is the increases on one sleeve now I will knit my way back over the back piece here I will do raglan increases on this sleeve as well here and here and when I have done the last increase I will get back to you uh, on how I um, how I finish the turn Now I have uh, finished the raglan increase on the second sleeve as well and I am back where I did the last turn and I'm now going to complete that process. So I will knit uh, my way to the stitch 
that I uh, have the yarn loop around from the last turn from because I wrapped the yarn around when I did this yarn towards me and slipped the stitch and did the yarn back you can see here that I have a stitch with just a loop of yarn around I slip the stitch over onto my right needle pick up the loop and the stitch and slip it back onto the left needle so now I have both the loop and the stitch sitting together here and I simply knit the two together and now I have completed the first turn here and the next step now is to to make the second turn and then I'll just repeat I slip one stitch I move the yarn between my needles and towards me I slip the stitch back onto my left needle turn I go behind the yarn slip the first stitch and I purl all the way across the sleeve stitches the back piece and the second sleeve and when I arrive where I did the last turn from the wrong side I will get back to you on how to complete that one from from the wrong side and now I have purled my way over the back piece again and this sleeve and here was my last turn on the wrong side so I will begin by purling my way to uh, the stitch with the loop around or the stitch that I wrapped my yarn around and here I am where I wrapped the yarn around the stitch before when I turned you can see here the yarn wrapped around so next step is to pick up the yarn loop and place it on the needle together with the stitch and purl them together and now I'm ready to do the next turn so with the yarn on my side of the needle I slip one stitch I move the yarn between the needles and over to the knit side slip the stitch back onto the needle and I turn my work slip the next stitch and continue to knit and now as I am on the right side I will also do raglan increases and I will continue this way back and forward uh, the, the first four times I will do exactly as I have done now or until I have four repetitions I will make the, uh, the next turn right after I have knitted the uh, loop and the stitch together but to get the right shape of the neck I will after doing four repetitions I will continue to 
uh, increase the number of stitches or knit more stitches after I have knitted the stitch and loop together. So, um, and by that I mean that after knitting the stitch and loop together I will continue to knit two stitches and then I will turn three stitches and then I will turn just to make the neck look uh, round and to have an even shape. From now I will continue in the round and I will also continue to do the raglan increases for a while. They look like this by the way and now uh, as I work in the round from the right side I will have to remember to do my raglan increases only in every second round and when I have done the right number of increases it is time to uh, to make sleeve openings and to divide the stitches into sleeves and body and just before I go I can I will show you here that here you can see the ribbing going almost down to the needle and here the needle and the ribbing goes apart here is the raglan increase there is the second raglan increase and here it is higher at the back so now I will just continue to do my raglan increases until I have finished those and then I will make another video of how I make openings for sleeves and body and how to continue that. Thank you.